Hello, my name is Mercedes Kent and today I am going to show you how to create a file directory tree. To show you how, I'm going to need to use my computer. I'm going to start by opening a Word document. Now I'm going to type anything in here. Hello. And now I'm going to save this to create a new file. I'm going to bring the camera close so you can see what I'm doing. I go under my files, save as. And if I want to save it under my documents library, then I just go to the top bar where it says new folder. And I start a new folder file. I'm going to call this pretending that I'm at work. I'm going to call it human resources. And I just press open. And there is the human resources file that I just started. I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to save my document called hello. By creating this document, I created the new file human resources. Now, like the name says directory tree, that means it has a lot of branches. So now I'm going to close this document and I'm going to go back to my file and show you how we can create the other branches of the file. Since I save it under my documents, and again, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see my human resources folder is right there. Now I can open my human resources and you'll see the document that I save. Now I want to create all the branches, meaning I want to create all, all the folders for this file. So now I just go to the top bar where is a new folder. And I'm going to create another folder called hmm, health insurance. I don't have to type the whole name. I can just abbreviate it. And then uh, probably I'm going to create another one for just the payroll. And again, I go to the top bar. right where the new folder is. Click on there again and now I'm creating another folder. And I said I was going to call it payroll. Now I have two folders. Once I type the name I can just press enter and it's ready for me to save anything. So if you go back to the arrow back Let's see, right there. You will see the human resources folder that is highlighted. Once I click on the human resources, you see I have already two folders plus a document that I save. Now, I want to create more branches to this tree. So I'll open the health insurance one. And knowing that it might work, we have two types of insurance. I'm going to create another folder, maybe two. So again, I go to the top bar where it says new folder. And I'll name this one Blue Cross Blue Shield. 
oops that's not blue cross blue shield blue cross blue shield now it is and again press enter and the name is there now I mentioned we have to insurance so I'm going to create one more folder again I go to the top bar where the new folder link is and now I'm going to create another one called neighborhood enter and it's ready so now under my health insurance I have two folders if you go back again see you see the health insurance the payroll go back again one more time and you'll be able to say to see the human resources so now we just created a directory tree called human resources and on that human resources we have two folders one for payroll and one for the health insurance under the health insurance we have two folders one for for each insurance we have uh, demonstrate again see health insurance payroll a document we save under the health insurance we have two folders and if we need to create more we can click um, let's say let's open neighborhood and we can create another folder and let's say the other folder would be for hmm what about inactive enter so now again I have my directory tree that starts with human resources. I have health insurance and payroll and I have any other document that I want to save in the same file. On the, on the health insurance I have Blue Cross and Neighborhood under neighborhood I have another one that is for inactive and I can have another one for active and doing the same thing I can create as many files as I want and that would be my directory tree I hope this was helpful I hope you enjoy my small demonstration and um, have a good day